Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And we have an interesting puzzle here. Can you solve the sixes challenge? We're given these numbers right here, zero through 10. And they're repeated three times each one and they all will equal six. We can use any mathematical operation out there, but there are a few rules. We can't create any new digits, so fifth root will not work here because we have to put the five in there. That's one of the rules. Second, you can't be cheeky and just say not equal, all right? Has to equal six. But we can use any other operation and try to manipulate these numbers to equal six. I'm gonna give you a moment to see if you can solve this problem, and then we're gonna dive in. Now, while you're thinking and solving here, uh, one note is many of these have multiple solutions. I'm just going to go over one of them. If you have other ones that I didn't cover, let me know down in the comment section below. All right, we're going to start from easy to the hardest. First one's pretty easy as the twos. Two plus two plus two equals the good old six. So we put that here, plus, plus. Got that one covered, we're good. And I guess I could uh, box it in a little if we have room, we'll see if this pans out. Not the most room right here. Next one we can go into involves the sixes. We could take six plus six minus the six, and that gives us a six, not too bad. Plus, minus, boom, boom, boom. We got the sixes here. Sevens is Kind of similar, in a way, we would have seven minus the seven divided by seven equals six. Seven divided by seven is the one. Seven minus one is six. So put that here, we have a minus and divided by symbol, or division, I guess we do it like that, that's percent, eh, you know what I mean, right there. All right, what are next? Next one I saw was the fives, in a similar way to the sevens, but just five plus five divided by five, Five put, divided by five is one, plus five is good old six here. So we have plus, and I'll do the division symbol this way, make it a little easier, and there we got it. We have that one done right there. Okay, where do we go from here? The next one I got was the threes here, okay, the threes. Three times a three is nine, minus the three gives me the six. So we have three times three minus three gave me six, and we have that one covered. All right, moving on. In a similar way to the threes, okay, like the threes, we have the nines. Watch this. Square root of nine is a three, square root of nine is also a three, and square root of nine is also a three. And I know you're thinking, well, you said you can't do the fifth root. Yes, because the number five is written there, but it's given as a symbol, the square root. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Same operators here times multiply. Square root of nine is three, right? Times three minus three is the six. So right here we have the square root for the nine, square root, square root, and we have a multiplication and a subtraction. If I can draw square roots correctly. Ah, cut off the eight. Well, you know it's there. All right, moving on. In a similar way that we dealt with square roots of nine, we can do the same with the fours. The square root of four is a two, right? And we've already solved the two ones. Plus, plus gives us a six, right? Square root of four is a two, so we do that. So square root of four plus square root of four plus square root of four, all of them being twos, they add up to good old six. Moving on down, now it starts getting trickier. Okay, well, next one I did was the tens. Now, tens a little tricky here, okay? And what do we have? Well, we have a 10 minus a 10 divided by 10. 10 divided by 10 gives us the one, and 10 minus one is nine. Square root of nine gives me the three here, okay? Then, if we take the three and we create the factorial over it, we get six. So again, 10 divided by 10 is a one. 10 minus one is nine. Square root of nine is three. Factorial of that three, and you get a six. So put that in right here. Minus, divided by, we gotta put the square root over the whole thing. Put a little parenthesis, put a factorial on it. Close it off. We've done the tens. All right, factorial is a tricky one. We haven't used that one yet. <sighs> Moving on, next, I actually did the ones. 
ones with this here, getting the 3 factorial, I saw that 1 plus 1 plus 1 is a 3 factorial of that, and we get the 6 plus plus factorial that, and we get the 6. We completed the 1s. What do we have left? Well, the zeros and 8s. The next one was 0, and this one at first was kind of tricky to think about, but factorial helps us out. Interesting property about zero factorial, it's equal to one. So zero factorial plus zero factorial plus zero factorial is a three. Then we factorial that bad boy. Factorial of three is a six. So I apply that here. Plus, plus, factorial, 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 and factorial the whole thing. Lastly, we have the eight that I cut off there. Sorry, I'll go try to put that right here because it's getting kind of low. I don't like writing, but we have eights. What can we do? This one's a little tricky, okay? So if we have an eight, and then we minus the square root of the square root of eight plus eight, what do we get? Well, eight plus eight gives me that 16. So we have eight minus the square root square root of 16. Well, then from there, square root of 16 is a four, 8 minus square root of 4. Square root of 4 is 2, and you get the gist. It's 6. So 8 is completed with a minus the square root, square root, double square root, if you can see that there, and we add the 2 in the inside, and we have it. How many of these could you solve? Again, let me know in the comment section below, and of course, like I said, I've missed some, so if you have other ones that you know of, let me know down in the comment section below. I hope you liked this video, and please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel uh, where we can make fun, these fun math videos for you. So, as always, thanks for watching.